Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I will be teaching about creating circle of variable radius in Labview. So let's see first the steps of creating a circle of variable radius in Labview. First step is to create about 100 data points ranging from 0 to 2 pi. Second step is calculate x is equal to r cos theta where r is the radius, variable radius. Then the next step is calculate y is equal to r sin theta. And the fourth step is plot x versus y. So these four steps will create a circle of variable radius in Labview. So let's see the first step. This is the first step. Let's see this step. So I have chosen a for loop and I have uh, put the loop count to 100. Now I have Firstly, generated 2 pi, then I have divided it by 100, and then I have multiplied it with the increment loop iteration with one increment. So, this will create 100, 100 plus 1, 101, uh, 100 data points, and then 0 is the starting data point which I have um, build, I have used build array function to generate 0 to. Uh, 101, uh, 101 data points. So there will be uh, 101 data points and the values will range from 0 to 2 pi. Here I have here I have chosen the sine function to generate sine of data points and here I have chosen the cosine function to generate cosine of data points. Then I have multiplied sine theta and cos theta with r generating here r cos theta and r sin theta and here I have used bundle function to bundle the bundle the two values together and then I have plotted it using the xy graph so I hope this whole thing is clear and then I have put the whole code into the while loop. So this whole code is now generating circle of variable radius. So this is a variable radius and let's now run the program. So as I run the program you see that circle is generated and this circle is generated of unit radius. So, I can change the radius of the circle. So, as I increase to 3, 3. As I increase to further, so 20 radius, so it's 20 radius. As, as I decrease, so it will decrease. And if I want to stop, I just press the stop button. So, this program generates circle of variable radius in that view. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you have liked this video tutorial.